All right, here we go, guys. And I'm in the town of Riverhead in Eastern Long Island. Last boats by the side of the road video got a number of complaints about how dirty the windshield was. So before we start this video, we have a lead on four boats. Thank you, Doc and Wayne, for three of the four recommendations. But before we do that, uh, I don't know, less than a mile up the road here on Route 58, you see the sign right in front of us in Riverhead. We got an amazing car wash. Uh, I, it's almost like getting your car detailed, so we are going to make a quick pit stop there. Let the car be washed. Hopefully we have a beautiful clean windshield for the rest of the day. I, I always park under a tree in front of my house. It, it rarely stays clean with the, the birds doing their business. But short term, we're about to uh, pull into it. It's just past that light. We'll get the car washed and we'll, we'll find that first boat. So boat number one was a complete uh, fail, could not find it, but I did see boats two and three when I was uh, headed to the car wash. This is Sound Avenue in Mattituck. The first boat is just in front of us. It's a Carolina Skiff, a uh, small one. I, I would guess a 21 looking at it. Uh, it looked like it had an E-Tech on it, a dual axle trailer with I thought ridiculously small tires, even for trailers, but we'll, we'll see when we get closer. Just first observations when I drove by it earlier today. So we'll, we'll check out that boat, and then there's a little whaler a uh, couple miles east of here, same road. We'll check that out right after, uh, right after we, we see the first skiff. And then we're gonna drive about 17 miles, 20 miles east of here. Uh, there's a rampage for sale. And I also saw at one of the boat yards, an older, uh, I don't know how old, probably older is not the right word, but a, a dual council, a, 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 uh, a catamaran for sale. Now the, uh, here's the Carolina skiff and I am going to park here on the side of the road, walk across. Ugh. Try not to drive into a ditch. Oh, look at that, Greek American Festival. All right, let's check out this skiff. Let's see what information it has on it. All right, we are gonna run across the road. And there's the skiff. Yep, has an E-Tech. It could just be the rims on the trailer that make it look so small. Looks like a galvanized trailer, but it, some rust on it, but it actually looks in pretty good condition. Boat is nice, actually. Yeah, I think these skiffs get a bad, the Carolina skiffs get a bad rep. Um, for what they are, I think they're good. There's no, how many horsepower is this engine? It's got a, an aluminum prop on it. Let's see the year, it's a 2014. Let's see if that comes out on the hin plate. Got the sun shining here, but it's a really clean boat. Dual axle trailer. So your little live well here. You got your jump seats here, casting platform. Is this battery storage? Probably, yeah. One on either side, jump seats on either side. It's got the splatter finish, so it's not gel coated. And again, that's why these boats are typically cheaper. They, you know, they, they're just, they don't, invest as much money into building them which is not necessarily a bad thing it's the dlv series it's forward uh in the console where you're driving here's your little uh, seat there is some storage in there you got two big storage boxes up here you have a nice well thought out little step if you want to come up to the casting platform up here nice little bench seat here or a uh forward cooler seat there's probably a cooler under there I do see there's a hatch there cup holder there three rod holders it's gonna be the same on the other side let's see if we can get the information here it is so it's a 2014 skiff Carolina skiff it's a 198 so it's a 20 footer 
Uh, a 2014 Evan Rudy Tech, 340 hours, includes trailer, turnkey, paperwork, and hand for all. 18,500. There's the number if anybody is interested. It's a nice little boat, man. Easy to trailer. Doesn't weigh much. It is bottom painted, but it looks like it looks like they just put a fresh coat of bottom paint on it. If you are going to keep it in the water, somebody clearly took care of this. The boat is is spotless. One of the nicer boats. Um, we've come across and you know brand new these are right now in the 40s i'd say the 198 uh i don't see any electronics with this so keep that in mind um but 18.5 with a you know nice little two-stroke e-tech these smaller e-techs don't have a bad reputation i think some of the bigger ones did um a trailer this is not a bad deal. Cool little boat. All right, we got an even smaller boat next. Uh, again, let that cement truck pass because I forgot to bring my mic with me. Um, oh, and it's registered through 26. So somebody had it in the water this year or, or registered it this year. Um, next boat is going to be a, a smaller Boston Whaler. And then we'll, we'll head east and find a couple more boats. So let's get back. Boy, so loud. Let's get back to the, the, the Nart right there and go find the next one. And here we go with the second one. And this time we're on the same side of the street. Tuttle Electric. All right, let's see what we got. All right, 13,958, 2003, all original cushions, bimini top, very low hours. Please do not inquire with homeowners. We will not inquire with homeowners. It's a 130 sport, uh, 14 grand, 40 horsepower. They're very similar to that little whaler we saw a couple of boats by the side of the road videos ago this is very clean obviously well taken care of it is under a tree so you there are some leaves and uh you know some of the things that fall off trees i guess battery is right there three rod holders here got a little uh tack here cup holder here got a little cigarette style lighter there this is really a one or two person boat Somebody my size, I'm 220 pounds. Probably just me that I'd want to be on this. Anchor locker up there, a little bit of storage too. But again, if you're, it, 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 if you want to just hit a, hit a bay, hit a sound on a calm day, this is perfect. Uh, got a nice little trailer with it too. Single axle, obviously. There's the 40 horsepower Merc. Um, little boarding ladder here too. Not a bad little boat. I <laughs> it is a chain. Nobody's gonna walk away with it. I I'm struggling with the price a little. That's that's the hesitation you hear. But I will say these boats brand new are really expensive. And if someone has the money and they want a small boat, this is like a perfect starter boat for for a, a teenager, right? If, if you guys have the money and you want your kid to get on the water, this is what you'd start them with. Uh, unsinkable, doesn't mean unflippable, but it's definitely unsinkable. Um, and yeah, it, 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 they've been making these boats for, God, what, 60 years now, since at least the 60s. So it, it, it's a legendary boat, but I do think that first Carolina skip we saw, for were my money, for a few thousand more you are getting a whole lot more boat and a whole lot newer boat this is an 03 but there you go there's dave's number if you are interested and in i'm not trying to poo poo this boat it, it it is what it is that's the market for these boats they're expensive they're brand new they're expensive a 13 brand new i'm presuming is at or around 40 grand so you are getting uh getting the boat at uh, 30 percent the original asking price so uh all right now we got a this is Sound Avenue here. There's the truck all cleaned up. Hopefully the windshield is clearer than last time. And we're gonna head about that way, east 
about uh, 15 to 20 miles. We got a couple more boats we're gonna check out there. All right, we're in South Hold. We're on uh, Sound Avenue, which is called Route 48 here. And as this guy cuts in front of us, somewhere up here on the right is a rampage. There it is. We are going to pull over and check it out. Hopefully there's a price on it. If not, we'll see if we can text the owner. This is always a problem here. Where the hell do you park to see this boat? I'm just gonna, uh, it's not ideal. Half in and half out of the, uh, half in and half out of the, the sidewalk, but we'll make do with what we have. All right, let's check it out. All right. Here's the boat in question. It's a rampage, sometimes referred to as slampage, but we won't go there. It is about 25 to 27, 28, let's see. It's a, it's a 24. Uh, 1989, 24 Rampage Express, replaced in 2020, so it's got a lot of stuff. New fuel tanks, new shaft, cutlass bearing, coupler and coupe, stringers. This boat was completely rebuilt. Uh, new Lawrence combing pads, uh, engine seat, high pressure salt water wash down pump, trailer tires, uh, tires. It's an 89 Volvo pent up 5.7 water cooled. It's also got a Raymarine C80 plotter radar, turnkey ready to go, new bottom paint, 19,000. There's the number. That's not a bad deal uh, if you can live with an inboard outboard. So these are, you know. You can see it's a very aggressive V on this boat. Um, and they have the new tires, five star dual axle trailer. Gel coat on it is really nice and shiny. Oh, they've left a ladder here for us. Big trim tabs, Jesus. Um, there's the keel, there's the prop, single engine. I mean, this is a pocket offshore express beautiful beautiful uh fishing cockpit area in here full enclosure too i like this one a lot if you can live with an inboard outboard this is just an awesome fishing boat just an awesome fishing boat you see the new combing pads you got the two chairs up there you got the new cushion on the uh, the engine axis, the engine's in the center, which is good. This boat should ride actually really good. Again, a lot of people refer to this boat as the slampage. Uh, I've never ridden on one, so I can't comment on that. But I, I do know that owners who have them love them. See, it's no shortage of rod holders. There's three on the side. So six there, then one, two, three, four on top. So 10 rod holders there at least three on each side a couple more here in the back uh so no shortage of rod holders here and yeah just uh a pocket cruiser if you want to take this offshore that this boat can handle it um looks like they did a lot of work on it i'm sure they put more than nineteen thousand dollars into it concern of course would be a, a you know a 1980s vintage engine but on these inboard outboards, or this is actually a straight inboard, so I don't know why I'm saying inboard outboard. It's a straight inboard. You can see it under there. So the, the slampage name might come because it's not that aggressive, the V in the back. Um, so, you know, typically uh, 20 to 24 degrees, 24 and a half. My boat, it, it, a CV, uh, the older 32 is a 25 degree. That's that's about as aggressive as you can get in the back. This one, I'll, I'll see if I can find the stats online, is not that aggressive. If I were a, a betting man, I would guess 16 to 18 degrees. So that, that may be where the slamming reputation comes from. Um, but the way to combat that in a head sea is you drop the tabs down and you let this very deep V do all the work. You can see it's really sharp in the front. Even midships it's sharp and it starts tapering off. This is a, what they call a warped hull or a variable dead rise hull. Really nice boat, a lot of work done for it. And if you're looking to get into the, you know, offshore game cheap and trailerable potentially, it's hard to beat that price, 19,000. Um, 
If I had one concern, it would be the year of the engine, which is consistent with the year of the boat, 89 and 89. But not a bad deal. And even the Isinglass and the glass work is in really good shape. It's a really nice boat. All right, we got one more to see, and then I'll offer you my thoughts. All right, we are on Route 25, still in South Hole, but this is the South Road. Uh, we were on the North Road, Route 48, Sound Avenue for the, for the rampage. And up ahead is my boat yard that I use to winterize my boat, store it in the winter, commission it in the spring. Albertsons Marines coming up right here on our left. You see a boat there. And I did see a catamaran for sale. I'm not sure if it was a Glacier Bay or an old, old, a World Cat. It's an older one. Here it is right to the right. You see the two engines spread apart. We'll pull over right here and give it a look-see. Uh, I do believe, I do believe it's for sale. There's one of the boatyard guys. I hope he doesn't get mad. Uh, it's a sport cat, 21 sport cat. Let's see what we got. All right, it's a 2000, 21 feet, 86 beam, twin Merc, 115s, 10 hours on them, aluminum trailer, 27.5 turnkey. Hey, not bad for uh, for a catamaran. I think the trailer could use, uh, not could, should have new uh, new carpeting on it, but the trailer otherwise looks in good shape. Aluminum trailer. Uh, so Sport Cat. I I want to say, don't quote me on this, that this is the Sport Craft went into the uh, catamaran business back in the early 2000s. I could be wrong on that. I'll see if I can look it up. But very low hours on these four-stroke newer Mercuries. You got a side door here uh, if you want to come back. Catamarans, right? Uh, people get them for their ride. There is a bimini on this, which is really nice. There's a live well there. Let's see if we can extend this and maybe step on the trailer and get a better idea. What was the price again? 27500 Man. So you, as many of you know, I'm building a catamaran, an Eastward 24, and it's significantly more expensive than this. Um, and here's the layout, nice simple layout, no forward seating, you do have a forward casting platform with a cushion, somebody could sit up there while you're fishing, big anchor locker in the front, uh, looks like it does have a Garmin on it, uh, there's the Garmin uh, GPS there, twin binnacles, keys are on it, the live well here, the leaning post here, four rod holders there, a couple rod holders on the side, forward uh, bench seats, there is something under them, let's see if we can see what it is. You can figure out how to lift it up. Yeah, it looks like it's storage. This probably came with two strokes and the oil tanks were here. Um, again, you want a, uh, a catamaran cheap, this is the one for you. It's gonna need a little bit of work with the trailer, but the boat itself looks like it's in great shape. Let's get an idea of the tunnel. Yeah, wow. And, you know, these ride better because instead of a, a lot of mass with a monohull, monohull, you have these two sponsoons that rip through the waves. So you do generally get a better ride with a catamaran than you would, uh, than you would with a monohull. And again, I'll, I'll see if I can find the history of Sport Cat. Uh, don't quote me on the sport craft. I used to own a sport craft fine little boat uh, Ownership Nexus, but I I think there is so 27.5 for this with the trailer. I like this one uh, This is a tough one. I'll offer you my thoughts in a second. I Might go with this one if, if you know I had to pick one of these boats but uh, We'll regroup in a second All right, we're on the road headed back home to Mattituck so four unique boats there, uh, that inboard rampage, that sport craft, we are, or sport cat 21 we just saw with the Bimini, with the newer Merc uh, four stroke 115s on, I think it was about 10 hours on them with a trailer. Uh, that rampage under 20K, this, this catamaran under 30K, 
that little Carolina skiff was also under 20k and that little whaler I mean it, it, you know really cool boat perfect for a little kid uh, or, or somebody who just wants to putz around the bay do a little fishing solo easy to launch uh, I think a little overpriced but you let me know in the comments what you think I, I mean if it were my money I would go with those newer outboards and that catamaran with the bimini put a little money in the trailer you know fix whatever may be wrong with the hull it, 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 the ad says turnkey I use those guys at Albertsons they are fantastic with your boat very fair and reasonable as well uh, if it were my money I would go with that catamaran, uh, but I am a little biased. I am having an Eastward 24 built as we speak. Let me know in the comments which you would pick and why. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please subscribe.